Jordan Peele's new horror movie Us promises to thrill us and make us think, but is it worth your time and money? Let's find out. So you'll like us if you enjoyed Get Out, and then just to say first off, if you enjoyed Get Out, you'll enjoy us. There's no need to even go any further with the review. I mean, please watch, but there's no need to go any further because there, I mean, there's not, there's not like a whole lot of like similar as far as like the movies I don't think are connected, but Jordan Peele's use of symbolism is very much used in the movie Us, and I feel like that very much enhances your experience when you watch it. The way he uses various images, the way he tries to use various dialogue to convey the story and to get concepts in the movie to relate to each other is very empowering and is, is a very enthralling experience that very much makes the movie that much more thrilling and horrific in its actions. So if you enjoyed Get Out, you'll enjoy us, and that's all I'm going to say for that. Continuing on Jordan Peele's symbolism, I really like that he created these characters known as the Tethered. And I'm not going to try to go into too much detail, like I said, but these are basically what are known as the clones. Thus, the other family that's terrorizing Lupita Nyong'o and, and their family. And you're going to notice that as the movie goes on, you'll learn that the Tethered are basically characters of ourselves, but more of the granular pieces of ourselves, so they're not quite whole. And that's what makes them very dark and not as empathetic and very not much to our nature. Um, because Jordan Peele relies heavily on the symbolism, he, you know, refers to them as shadows. And I think that's a very good way of describing what they are. If you think of much of like Peter Pan, you know, very loosely, you have Peter Pan and you have a shadow. And while Peter Pan is Peter Pan, Peter Pan's shadow is similar, but of its own being and not quite shares the same characteristics and I feel like he does a very good job of making you see that with these two characters. And that leads into my next thing that I think you'll love about the movie and what I personally liked was Lup Lupita Nyong'o. I think that her performance in this movie, I don't know if this movie would overall win any awards, like not best picture or anything like that, but I feel like her performance, her capability of playing two characters while similarly connected very different in nature extremely well speaks volumes to her her capabilities as an actress and i feel like this movie will should solidify her another oscars win i'm just gonna say it of course we have a whole another year to go before that ever you know comes about but this i mean one of the things that you'll leave the theater knowing is like dang she did a good job i mean that's what you're gonna say i can guarantee it so if you're a Lupita Nyong'o fan, get ready because she's going to she's gonna wow you. Now this just may be me, but one of the things I personally enjoyed about the movie was the soundtrack. This movie is very African-American centric in its characters. And so a lot of the music that is played is very urban and it uses a lot of hip hop and R&B. And, and I appreciate that because I'm a personally a fan of that kind of music. And I think that it, it enhances and makes the movie more not realistic, but relatable to you as an audience. So, for example, they use the popular song Five On It. They use NWA. They use some Janelle Monet. They use various songs. They even have Beach Boys in here. Um, but they, they have songs that, you know, in instances of, you know, people getting killed, unfortunately. I mean, it is a horror movie, so that's nothing spoiling anything for you. But in those instances, and even when you... And you'll see when the siblings, the brother and sister, are having to defend themselves and these certain songs come on, you get to see a different kind of relationship come about with them. And you get to see this, not humor, I mean, it's kind of humor in nature, but I mean, you'll have to kind of wait and see, but it's it's very, I, I enjoy those parts of it. You know, because it, it's like, I'm watching a horror movie, I'm having to think, but then I have this one part that's kind of like... That's maybe something that I would have to experience in real life. And so if I had to have a movie soundtrack to a horror movie, aside from the thrill, you know, feeling music, you know, it's kind of funny to know that I could also have, you know, NWA put in the background as I'm like killing people or getting killed or something like that, you know. So it's it's a very good aspect that Jordan Peele brings to the movies. I know he did part of that with Get Out. So I like that. I hope he does that in future movies he makes. And that's something I think you'll enjoy. All right, now, some of the things I didn't like. Now, this is maybe just, you know, 
Jordan Peele's movies are very political, so in Get Out, that was very obviously, you know, white, black, that kind of thing. I mean, it was basically older white people trying to take over black people's bodies. Spoiler alert, if you didn't know that's what it was, that's what it is. In this one, it's not quite like that, but you're going to notice that a lot of the dead people in this movie are white people. What's that about? Uh, so, our, of course, our main characters, the family itself, are African-American. The clones are African-American. They antagonize them. But they have a group of best friends or family friends that are white. But it seems like everybody on the beach is white. Everybody at the carnival is white. I mean, everybody is white. So I'm like, you have these, was one black family in a world of white people. Now, I know that may be like what Jordan, people see, Jordan Peele sees, but it's not quite how it is. So I looked it up, and it's, this movie's based in Santa Cruz. And while the majority of the population is Caucasian, there's actually like 20-30% of Hispanics and then African Americans. So I'm like, where are all the Hispanic people at? I didn't see any Hispanic people in the movie. Uh, you can comment below if you see the movie and you can correct me on this, but I didn't see anything. All I saw were white people. I see white people dead bodies everywhere. So when you're watching the movie, you'll probably notice this and you may take bother to it. I mean, I didn't bother me that much. It's just something I noticed that there are political tones to this and I'm not sure that really was necessary to the plot of the story, but there you go. Now you are going to notice when you watch the movie that there are going to be some holes. Um, try not to get away too much, but as far as the overall backstory of the tethered, you're going to notice that doesn't quite explain too much. I mean, he kind of gives you a basic overview and Lupita Nyong'o's character will kind of explain it, but you're kind of like, okay. And then a bunch of questions are going to be asked. And then you're going to notice that kind of towards the end, it kind of leaves things open. So there's going to be a lot of holes that you're going to start noticing as the movie starts progresses. And when it actually lays it all out for you in the final act, you're going to be like, okay, what about this? And then this and that. And it really doesn't necessarily need to be answered. I mean, it doesn't really have to do with anything that kind of takes away from the movie. The movie still tells its overall story just fine. But this is going to be some things that you'll notice. And you may take bother to those. You may not. But just be prepared that not everything will be explained, but doesn't necessarily need to be explained to appreciate the movie. Now, as my wife likes to say, every time I take her to a movie with me, she says she can write this stuff. And you will probably see early on that you can already tell what the ending is going to be from maybe the very beginning. Maybe not. It might take you a little while, but there are going to be clues set. <clears throat> so keep an eye out for those probably from, I'd say like the first 10, 15 minutes, probably towards the middle of the movie too. You'll probably get an idea. But I would say there is a twist ending, and you may have already seen it coming, you may not, but just try to look for all the clues and really look at Jordan Peele's symbolism when you're watching the movie to kind of get a better idea of why he did it that way and how that really tells the story and how that makes the characters relatable to each other because I think that's more of what he was trying to do. I mean, anytime you make a horror movie, it can only go so many scenarios. Everybody's trying to remake the horror movie genre and add their own flavor to it. And there's just so much you can do. People murder people. Plain and simple. Someone's got to die. So the way you try to do that and the way you try to get these concepts and stories going, you know, it's kind of hard, I feel like, to do nowadays. There's just been so much that's been done and so much that you play off of each other. So and in, in saying that, I would say this movie kind of reminds me of The Strangers. So if you're not familiar with that movie, that's basically a group of people that just randomly kill people. Um, it's a movie I recommend you watch. The sequel's not very good, I don't think. I just watched the first one. Um, but there's that. So I'd say The Strangers mixed with Kill Bill mixed with... Uh, I don't remember the movie. It's on Netflix. I'll probably remember it after I do this, after I edit this video, but kind of like that because it's kind of like a home invasion mixed with like you know, an onslaught kill, kind of like apocalyptic movie, kind of Netflix. So it's all those kind of mesh together to get you that. Oh, and mixed with Get Out. So there you go. So it's Strangers, Kill Bill, Get Out, and then the movie that I can't remember for right now. But I'll remember once I edit the video because that's some good YouTube right there. But overall, I think those are a good, good, good collective to go off of. And overall, I, I would recommend. Get, I would recommend us. I really do. I think it was a very enjoyable movie. Uh, I 
I personally love horror movies. I know that may sound weird to some, but I love horror movies. I do. Um, and I, I like these kind of movies that really kind of get your your mind working. It's not just a cliche all the time. You don't always see it coming. And I like I like those kind of movies. And I, I enjoyed Get Out. So like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed Get Out, you'll love this movie. If you're a fan of Jordan Peele, then why are we even talking about this? Um, but I totally think it's going to be worth your time and totally think it's going to be worth your money. And like I said, I think you're going to enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of us if you've seen it. Again, no spoilers. If you're in the mashup, pick everything from tech, gaming, entertainment, and more. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell, and I'll see you at the next mashup.